Hey Scrappers, welcome to another video. Today we will be taking apart this um, Ethernet power switch. And we're taking the top of it, so we'll jump straight in. So I'm not sure if these are like tantalum capacitors or if they're just, um, you know, they must be tantalum because the MLCCs are these ones here. So these must be um, uh, tantalum, black tantalum capacitors. So strip that all off, that, you know, a bit of a quartz crystal there and various ICs here. So I'll put that aside. There are some nice are they brass. Yeah, they look like brass. Those lugs there. Um, before we go any further, though, we'll strip down all of this before we take the board off. I like to strip stuff out of the board before I take the board off. That way, I can use the board as leverage because it's secured to the metal frame. <coughs> so what I'll do is just pop off all of these. Heat sinks. To reveal the IC chips underneath. Now these here, I think, I think they're like um, transformer ICs, like, uh, not transformer ICs, sorry, they're inductor ICs. There's a whole bunch of them in here. So what I'll do now is I'll essentially just chop along the legs. And remove each one. And I'm pretty, I think these are RAM. Are these ones RAM chips? Can someone let me know, please? See if we've got something here. It's 
So yes, they are in a way inductor ICs. Up in the mix pile. Now, I find it also easier to take off all of the um, gold corner BGA while the circuit board is still attached to the body. I'll just remove these ones here if it allows to do it neatly. There we go, some nice brass. Just check that, see where if it is. Nope. It is brass, not, not magnetic. <coughs> and now we'll attempt to remove, hopefully this works, these gold band crystal oscillators. Without doing that. See if you don't get it right you end up risking just popping the top of the cap off and you leave the base on the circuit board itself which is a little bit frustrating because now I'm not too sure how I'm going to get that all off. Start at doing that. There's one success and as you saw there is some gold in there but not a whole heck of a lot you know nothing to write home about but every little bit counts it adds up over time and now i'll just go around quickly and remove all the gold band sorry the non-gold band core crystals And I also like to um, take off these here because inside them, depending on you know, how easily they come apart, there is a copper inductor in there. And I just um, strip it all back and I just throw it into the copper, my copper container. Down and there's another two. So just finish up removing this. And then we have some brass as well here. Just pays, you know, if you're unsure. Just 
just to scratch it up. So we'll remove all that as well before again using the um, circuit board as leverage against the frame. Now what we'll do is we'll just remove the board itself. brass shell connectors and we just break all that off we've got some gold plated pins and scratch the around to it container So what I'll do off screen is I'll try and remove as much of these MLCCs as I possibly can in that chip there. But other than that, there is no point as I say, those are just inductor ICs. So other than that, this board is pretty much done, except for those and on that other one. So I'll put that aside. And then essentially, this power bank here, I'm sure we can see that, but this power bank there, I'll just take it off. And um, further part it off of screen. I'll strip all these transformers and ductors off. Copper, uh, sorry, LA has heat sinks. And um, yeah, just add it to my bucket of copper. I'll do that off screen as well. So this was a little bit different, well, a lot different actually, to the ones that I've done in the past. The other ones that I've done have just been straight 
you know, circuit boards. There's none of this power stuff or anything in it. It's just a circuit board with a lot of this, these chips and whatnot on it. But other than that, oh, last but not least, thank you. So those of you who are interested, so for those of you who are interested, that's the model there, an AT8000S forward slash 24POE. So that was a bit of fun for you all guys. Thank you for joining in. Look after yourselves. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers.